Hey guys, we are back again. We are in day two of the Las Vegas trip. This time it's mostly focused on Las Vegas, but still uh, in the morning. Uh, we just came here uh, in the valley of fire. The weather is not very uh, sunny and bright today. It's a bit, it's a bit uh, cloudy. So we just, uh, just reached valley of fire. Just entered the main gate, and there you can see the red rocks. So that's the suddenly the red rocks we are able to see now. So this is a variation. It was like a muddy color mountain, which suddenly when we entered the park turned into reddish color. So we'll be getting into this. Trail Ridge. Here is our junior, just had a sleep. And here is Pipi. Okay, let's go and explore the trail. There are few viewpoints. We will not be able to hike much because of our junior, but Overall, the drive should be nice one. Structure from the Valley of Fire after we entered the park, just after the visitor center. You see some small arch over there. The orientation is and different. And if you see these large rocks, it looks like an elephant. From the the trunk of an elephant. See few people over here taking some photo shoots. 
so there is Ron again back in action Look at me. Here we are in the the valley fire you should not say trail it's a scenic view scenic drive we can say and today being a bit cloudy it doesn't reflect all the colors but if it's sunny and bright with some flary clouds up there it should it should be awesome looking over here They have clearly written, do not climb on the rock. The arch is hidden on the other side. There are huge rock structures and lot of hollows in that. It looks like it's been created so delicately. In between there are a few mountains, there are a few rock structures like this. Anybody can go and explore those. So we'll continue with the road to our next spot. And here is a Atlal rock. Climb around 80 odd steps to get in there. The view was nice. So, this is where the petroglyphs were made by the ancient tribes. That's how what is written over here. And there are some ancient carvings and drawings over the rock edge. Let's go and see.
There's the top view. Hey guys, so finally we are in the visitor center now. Uh, it's quite a far from the actual entrance. But the visitor center looks nice. So we'll take a small break here. And then we'll move to the white tombs and the elephant arch. The area near the visitor center looks also familiar to the other type of rocks but it's very nicely kept over here. The parking lot is limited behind the visitor center but they have made an extended parking. You can just walk one minute down with some stairs. Ron is just running with excitement. Run wait. So guys, this is the balanced rock. Here you can see the rock is a bit hanging up there. It's a bit darkish over here due to the cloudish weather today. So we'll be heading towards the white dome and the elephant rocks. After that, we'll be getting back to uh, Lake Mead where we'll have a brief stay and we'll go back to Vegas. So this is a silica dome. Awesome mixture of uh, like like chocolate and vanilla ice cream. Your noise and uh, drink rate. Mountains. Truly amazing. It's very high point also.
So here we are. We are in the end point of this rock structure. It's a silica dome. It's it. Nature's fury. It's so nice. Just like a fall of the mountains. Hey! to cover along with the white dome. So rainbow vista and the silica dome both are quite attractive and colorful. Hey guys, so finally we are in the visitor center now. Uh, it's quite a far from the actual entrance. But the visitor center looks nice. So we'll take a small break here. And then we'll move to the white tombs and the elephant arch. area near the visitor center looks also familiar to the other type of rocks but it's very nicely kept over here the parking lot is limited behind the visitor center but they have made an extended parking you can just walk one minute down with some stairs Ron is just running with excitement. Run wait. So guys, this is the balanced rock. Here you can see the rock is a bit hanging up there. It's a bit darkish over here due to the cloudish weather today. So we'll be heading towards the white dome and the elephant rocks. After that, we'll be getting back to uh, Lake Mead where we'll have a brief stay and we'll go back to Vegas. change in colors on the top part it's an array of colors over here if I just turn my PGI it's actually You 
see the colors changing it's yellow is on the upper part and there is an array of colors it's orange it's orange it's yellow it's red lovely colors very photographic so ron where are we ron where are we where are we we are in valley of fire rainbow vista This part of Valley of Fire is very colorful. This is the Rainbow Vista. So many colors. Oh yeah, all the colors like it's not like any other part of the Valley of Fire. Orange, yellow, red. Yeah, no it is. We are in the fire wave. We are not going to hike, but the view from here is spectacular. All the colors are here. Let me go to the edge. It takes around 1.5 mile or so to get into the wavy structure of the valley of fire rocks. The orientation of the rock is unique you can see lots of colors lots of different orientations it's amazing to see such a wonderful piece there you are So it feels like I am on the top of the world.
so this is a spectacular one now after the elephant So finally we are in the white domes, let's get around here and we'll have to return after this. So this is again like any other rock structure. This is having its unique structure, mostly whitish. The domes are huge, uh, pretty similar to Zion mountains. Those mountains are big also, but that is like these red ones. Here you can see it's very white. There you have the white dome loop around 1.25 miles. It's huge. The structures are really huge. So, are we going to the sands? Till the top point. Okay, let's go at least to that point. See, there are some huge modern structures. Shoes. Okay, I'll do that. See, there are. It's just like standing over there, like the garden of gods. 